Hello everyone, it's Paula here from Craftables. I'm just here to show you our card that we've done for our class last week in our store. So this one is called, what is it called? <laughs> it's a see-through acetate card. So this one here has a little window that you've got free there. And that brings the acetate through to the outside there. So when it stands up, you've got three layers. So you've got the back layer, the middle layer and the front layer. So it's a bit hard to see on the camera, but when it's standing up, it's sort of got a 3D look to it. Okay, so let's get started. So there's our card for the day. All right, so we do need to start off with a piece of white cardstock, and you need to trim that to four and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. And we're actually going to fold it this way. So this is the way our card's going to open. So it's four and a quarter by 11 and three quarters along there, and then we're just going to fold it in half that way there. So out of your pattern paper, if you've got the kit, it will be in the kit for you. So this is the uh, 49 and Market Ambrosial paper there, which is one of their um, vintage ones that they've got. So I'm just going to stick that down right onto the front of my card there. So this one's going to measure 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 quarters. So just an eighth of an inch smaller. So we're going to cut two of those pieces. So two pieces of pattern paper to measure four and one eighth by five and three quarters. So I'm just going to pop that onto the front of my card there. So you will have a little white border around the outside there. Like that. All right, so the next step we're going to do is I've got a frame here. Now, if you've purchased the kit, the kit, this, the kit will have the frame in it. If you haven't got a kit, all you'll need to do is have a, I think it's a three, yep, it's a three inch square. So to do the frame, you would need the three inch square, cut that out and then just one of the squares slightly bigger to it and that will give you a frame. So you just layer the two on top, um, one inside the other, run it through your die cut machine and then you'll end up with a frame. So this one is a three inch frame. So for those that have the kit, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it onto the front of my card like that and I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm just going to very carefully trace the inside of that frame. So just on the inside of this frame you're tracing around. Oops. Might pay to have a little bit of um, repositionable tape to stick that down if you like. So if you have the three inch die then I would go ahead and open that up and I would die cut that piece out. But because I don't have the die right here with me, I'm just going to cut it out with the inside of my frame. So just trace around the inside of your frame and it's on a little bit of an angle there. And I'm just going to get my craft knife and my craft mat and I'm just going to cut that little square out. So just make sure you open your card up so we're not cutting through two layers of, of card there. So I'm just going to grab my knife and I'm just going to cut through onto that um, pencil line that I've just done as a marking there. There we go. So just do that all the way around the outside just to get rid of that middle piece out of your card so that we've got a bit of a window there. I haven't quite gone all the way through but we'll come back and do that in a minute. Now because we are trying to go through quite a thick layer there, I am going to have to go back around and just do that again. So I'm just going to push really hard to get around those thicknesses. The, min the 49 market papers are very thick, so they are a bit tougher to get through than normal cardstock. Go okay, nearly there. Awesome, there we go. So now we've cut out that middle square in the middle there. So I'm just going to erase the outsides of those pencil marks there just so that they're not going to be shown through if we don't quite get the frame over the top. There we go. Alright, so now this frame that we have here, we are going to glue around 
that piece that you've just cut out there. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back there. And I'm just going to pop that over to the window that we've got there. Now I haven't quite cut around the outside as you can see here. I've just got a little bit of a pattern paper that comes over this way. So I'm just going to bring my cutting mat back in and I'm just going to cut that little bit out. So I'm just going to cut it right up against my frame. You could actually, thinking about it, could you, you could actually adhere your frame onto the front of your card first and then cut the middle piece out if you find that a bit easier because that way you will get a nice even cut around the whole frame as well. Okay, let's see if that's come off. Quite cut in that corner there. There we go. That's a bit better. So now I have that frame nice and flush up against that cardstock there. All right. So on the inside of our card now, we're going to pop our acetate on. So I've cut. This is my second piece that we cut at the beginning of our video and I have cut a piece of acetate now acetate is like a thin clear plastic paper almost really so you can get two thicknesses you can get lightweight and you can get heavyweight so I'm just using the lightweight but either is fine I just found that the lightweight um, acetate was easier to bend and maneuver a bit more so this acetate I've cut down to four and an eighth of an inch by six and a quarter so six and a quarter by four and an eighth and I'm just going to grab my School power, my school board here. Flip over my, my little scoring tool, and I'm going to put my long side at the top of my trimmer. So I'm going to push it right at the top, and I'm going to score it at half an inch. Oops, sorry about that. So I'm just going to score down there on the acetate at half an inch on that long side. So at the long side at the top of the trimmer, and then we've scored down there half an inch. So I'm just going to fold on that score line. Now because it's acetate, you're going to need to really maneuver it backwards and forwards just to free up that plastic a little bit, because it does get a bit stiff. So just backwards and forwards a little bit, just to make it a little bit softer there. All right, so we're going to pop this onto that little side piece there, that little tab there. We're going to put some tape on there. So I'm going to put two strips down just because I've got a bit more of a gap there with my 6mm tape. So I'm going to take the backing off. And now that little tab that I've put the tape on there is going to, it's going to go around the back of my um, pattern paper. So I'm just going to line it all up at the front nicely. And then I'm just going to bend it so it goes to the back and sticks to the back of that pattern paper. Just like that. So this piece now is stuck there. So now we have that middle piece of acetate there. All right, so this now can go into the inside of your card there. So I'm just going to pop. Oops, I probably should have taken that taping back off first before I put that down. It's better. <laughs> Okay, so this one goes on the inside of your card. So you will, again, have a little bit of a white border around the outside. There we go. So now we have our little window here, and we have the acetate here, and we have the back there. So now, basically, it comes down to your decorating. So what I've done is I've cut out some of the um, cut-apart sheets from the... What, are, what did we use? Uh, the Minte papers, and it was the Better Times paper. So I've just cut out these and it's, it's like a cut apart sheet. So if you've got other little bits and pieces or even lots of little flowers or something you can pop on there, you could you could stick anything around on your acetate windows. So I've just cut out these pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I wanted to have a bit of a foresty theme to it. So I'm going to open that right up and I'm going to put, glue my tree down on that very background one there. So I'm going to glue it down 
just so that I can get all these little bits on the outsides here. Okay, so that one's going to go on the very inside of my card. Alright, so my next part I've done, I'm just going to open up my card here so you can see as I'm going. The next part I've done is I, I actually, on if you are using this cut apart sheet, I've actually cut the bottom of the tree off. So the, the whole thing looked a bit like that. But I wanted to use this little bit as well. So I've just cut that bottom piece off and pulled that apart there. So this piece is also going to go on your card. So my next one is my little love heart rock here. And I'm going to glue that one down along here next to my tree. Along here, and this little bit here, I'm just going to cut a little bit more around there just to get rid of that tree trunk a little bit. So, I'm just going to roughly make it look a bit more like a rock there. So, I'm going to glue that one down along here as well. Okay. So now I'm going to glue one of the little flowers that I had on there. And I might raise that one up with a little bit of foam tape. If I can, There we go. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of foam tape on the back of that just to lift it out a little bit. There we go. And I've just got another little butterfly. I'm just going to cover up that gap with there. So I'm just going to bend on his little body there. And I'm just going to put a strip of glue down in the middle of his body. And I'm just going to fill that gap in there. Okay, so that's the inside backing of our card. So now I'm going to close this so that my acetate is now over the top. And I'm also going to close my window as well. Now what I want to do on the front here is I want to put my butterflies through the window onto my acetate. So I'm just going to bend the wings up a little bit. Put some glue down the middle of his body there. And I'm going to pop that on through the window onto the acetate. So now I have a butterfly on that piece of acetate there. So I'm going to do the same thing with my second little butterfly. So I'm going to bend his wings up. And I'm going to glue him on the acetate through the window again. So now we, when we open it up we have two floating butterflies on there. Okay. All right, so now we're going to clean. We're going to do the front part here. Now I'm going to put a flower just on this corner here. So I'm just going to glue that one down. Okay, and I had this little hedgehog which I thought was adorable, so I actually wanted to put him on my card this time. So before I put those two down, though, I want to pop this little uh, memo pin underneath my flower. So what I've done is I've stamped a little sentiment. Um, I think this is from a Lawn Fawn. Yep, the Lawn Fawn Love Poems set. So I've just cut it out in a square and I'm just going to pop it into my memo pin. So these are the um, Tim Holtz memo pins. Now in order to get that open, because you've got to slip it in there, yeah, it's a little bit like a um, key ring there. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop my pokey tool right through the bottom there so as you can see I've opened it up now so I'm just going to pop my word in there my sentiment in there hold it in place and then I'm just going to pull that out so that's an easy way of getting that into that little memo pin all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it there for where I want it to go I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of this piece here So I'm going to do it lengthwise this way. So I'm going to go across the back of it instead of up and down because I want to be able to capture that pin underneath my foam tape. There we go. So I just take the backing off that and what I'm going to do is put that right over the top of my memo pin and that's going to hold my memo pin in place. Just give it a nice push down so it's nice and stuck there. Okay. So we've got that foam 
there. So now my little hedgehog friend is going to go just underneath my flower a little bit, just along the bottom here. I just thought the hedgehog was so cute. <laughs> there we go. So he's having a little wander around the forest. Okay, so basically that's it for our card. So you've got that acetate piece in the middle with a bit of your floating butterflies. And you've got your woodlands on the inside there. So when, when you give this to someone, it will stand up and it will have those three separate spaces there. And that will, when you're looking at it down onto it this way, it will look like you've got a 3D scene going on there. But I just wanted a little bit more sparkle on my card. So what I'm going to do... Actually, that needs to go in there. Is I've got the uniquely creative sparkle pen here. These have got a little brush on the end, and they have the sparkle paint glittery stuff that comes out. So I'm just going to basically wash over the top of it like that. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it very well onto the video. Oops, a bit too much there. But you get this beautiful little shimmer of a sparkle there. And I'm going to put it over my flowers. Just open that up so I can do the rest of his wing there. Just going to do my other butterflies. Here we go. So I don't know if you can see very well on there, but there is a real shimmer to that butterfly and that blue butterfly there and on the flowers it's a bit hard to see on the camera but you can see it on the blue butterfly really well okay so that's our card for this week i hope you have a go at it and if you do we'd love to see what you do on our craft immunities page so just um type in craft immunities into facebook and like our page and everything and then we can get you showing all your creative bits and pieces up there which we love to see everybody's work so i hope you do that for us and i thank you again for joining me today and i'll be back next week with another card thank you bye